In this video, I'm going to talk about jobs that pay a lot of money. Lopez coming at you from LopezTheSane.com. So, yeah, I got a question from somebody, and, and they say, you know, they, they are, they're kind of confused about what field they wanted to work, whether it's a side hustle or whether it's a full-time job or whether it's a part-time job, and they just want to know, in the future where things are going and what jobs pay the most money so here we go so uh, so and ps and by the way like this video share this video and subscribe by smashing that like button below so the job one of the jobs that pay a lot of money and it's going to the sky's the limit is computer information systems types of jobs so if you're a computer tech or you're in a computer repair so basically um a computer tech is a person is somebody that installs hardware software of computers um net uh maintains networks sometimes they they'll um put together networks for big companies small companies um uh, could be installation of home computers or home networks. Could it doesn't doesn't necessarily have to be a big company or a small company. It could be home networks I've seen. So if you're in the computers, you're in the technology, um, you're in the software. Um, this is probably something you can get into. And the pay is 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 you can pretty much negotiate your pay because you know this is my field. I'm I'm in the computers. Um, I have a degree in um, IT, um, security. So there's like a it's a very broad area of expertise, really, uh, or broad area to study because it could be hardware based, software based, could be security based, or it could you might be working for a, a software company, or you could be working for a hardware company. You could be working for Google. Microsoft, you could be working for um, Twitter. It, it, it's really a very broad field. You could be working for a, a company like um, Equifax. You know, it's really uh, the sky's the limit in uh, in the uh, computer information field, really. So that might be something you want to uh, get involved with. And the next job I would say is uh, anything that's in advertising, promotions, and marketing. So that's so whether it's doing marketing online or it's doing marketing offline, like working for like an agency or working for um, some company that's uh, on uh, Madison Avenue or it could be working for some type of sales and training company or a PR company or a, a product development company or um, or you might be working with startups. So if let's say, for example, if you're good at using social media, you've had you have uh, had a pretty good track record using social media, you can take your skills and teach other people to do the same thing. Or you can become a, a social media consultant. Maybe that's your thing, social media. Or maybe you're good at, at, at ad writing. You're good at writing ads. So you can, maybe you have a, had a good, pretty good track record of doing that. So maybe you've placed ads in magazines, online, on, it could be Facebook ads. Uh, Bing ads, Google ads, or it could be uh, newspaper ads, could be article mark. Maybe you had a good track record of doing this. You can take your expertise to these other companies, show them how to do it, or they'll just pay you to do it. You know, they'll just pay you to do it, and you can negotiate your price. A lot of times, you don't really have to negotiate. They'll say, hey, how much do you charge? And you say, hey, 5000 10000 30000 50000 plus royalties. They might have a product 
that they're trying to promote and they need your help for like a video script or for some type of online campaign or offline campaign and you can say hey I need royalties I need a 10% royalty on on all the products that you sell so that might be you you might say hey give me 50,000 up front and I need a 10% royalty on all the on, on all the products and sell. That could be <clears throat> that 10% could that could be 200,000 half a million dollars. So, so the the it just depends on the product, especially if you're in like the financial in the finan if you're working in a, with these financial companies, well these big firms. So, so the sky's the limit, you know. <clears throat> and anything in finance, if you're like a finance man, uh, a finance manager, anything like that, you're working with um, these big firms, the banks. Um, maybe you're working for a company like UPS or any of these banks, Bank of America, or maybe you're working on Wall Street. You know, I mean the the really the. The possibilities are really endless, man. You know, and one of my uh, favorite areas is um being a copywriter. Now, being a copywriter, I mean, the, really, the possibilities are really endless, man. Because you can be online, offline, or both. You could be writing white papers, sales letters, writing ads for Google, bang, doing Facebook ads. Facebook ads could just be your thing. That's all you do and get paid big bucks. You could be the Facebook guy or the face or the Facebook chick. And they, you might get me getting paid 5,000 a month, 5, 10,000 a month just for that. Or you might have a whole agency. You can go big. Some people have a whole... A their whole agency is focused on just Facebook. Or their whole agency is just focused on Google Ads. They study... They live and die and breed Google Ads. That's all they do. They live and die Facebook Ads. That's all they do. They live and die magazine ads. That's, that's their focus. That's their expertise. There's some people that's like that. And then you got some people, their their focus is mo mostly on web design and digital marketing. So they'll, you know, they'll create your website, design your website, and they focus on doing what they got to do to help you represent yourself in the best light and help you make more sales online so the like the pay i've seen it go from 40,000 to 200,000 from an individual standpoint now if you have an agency oh the sky's the limit let's take a the, the average copywriter i know make 40 Forty-five thousand. That's entry level. Now, if you're like a, if you have experience, it could be sixty thousand, seventy thousand. If you're a seasoned pro, oh my goodness, and you had half a million dollars. You know, I've seen it go. I've seen it go over a million dollars. I know a guy. He do one to two campaigns a year as a copywriter. That's it. And by the end of the year. His royalty is, is over a million dollars. Two campaigns. That's, that's two ads that he ran. Two sales letters. That's it. That's all he do. And he's been doing it for like 10 years. So after he's done with those two sales letters, see you later, alligator. He disappeared into the sunset. You know, 
And the last thing I would say is uh, in the teaching, training, and coaching business, it's, it's starting to blow up now because everybody that's in, uh, especially a lot of these com corporate companies, everyone wants to get better. Their team wants to get better. The individual wants to get better. Everybody needs help at something. Wherever it's social media, wherever it's um, creating a book, wherever it's marketing, wherever it's speaking, wherever it's advertising, wherever it's, it doesn't really matter. People need help with something, especially <clears throat> if you're a, a creative this is why a lot of life coaches and business coaches is starting to pop up now. Because people need help in something. You know, people need help in making more sales. People need help in closing more sales. People need help at getting more clients. People need help at a lot of different things today. So if you're in the teaching and training and coaching business, skies is the limit. And I realize that you might not have all these skills, but the good news is you can start studying and reading and you can even pay somebody to teach you what you need to learn today with the help of the internet. So hey, if you like this video, share this video, tell me what you think below. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.